Hey guys, Hacks for Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about um, some of the features offered here in KeePass to be able to use uh, to create your own macros and your own form filling capabilities. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's go ahead and see how we would do that. So here you can see I have my KeePass application opened and the primary thing that I wanted to look at today is just again to show you how you can use it to create these custom macros or to fill forms. There's so many different things that you can actually use it for but in this particular scenario we're just going to be looking at how you can use it to fill forms. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just in this um, application I'm going to create a new folder so I can do file or actually you know what what I'll do here is I'll just right click on this main database and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on add group and essentially these are just folders you can actually customize the icons to uh, of the folders that you create here but I'm just gonna create a new group and this is where I'm going to put my new form filling macro so to create a new one here anytime you wanted to create a new entry whether you're creating something for uh, storing your passwords um, and usernames and things like that, or if you wanted to use this to store things like banking information. Um, I did do a, vid a video recently where I talked about some of the best applications and uh, mobile applications that are available to store your passwords and information. Um, I did not mention this one. I'm going to go back and put a comment in there. Um, this is not what I use for my personal password management, but it's actually what I use um, for work because this is not something that is synced online, it's not cloud-based, so it's very secure uh, and it works very well with things that are not browser-based. Um, so, but today again I just wanted to kind of look at how you can use this to fill forms and kind of the macro functions here. So, if I click on this icon, it's going to allow me to create a new entry and here the, the default kind of capabilities that you have is to be able to create uh, a new entry with your username and password and normal kinds of uh, information pieces that you would use for maybe a website um, or a program that you're trying to log into. So I can give this a name and if I wanted to use it for just those standard capabilities like username and password, um, there's a couple things I can do here. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a username and a password and show you the basic function here. So if I was to just put this in here um, and I click on OK, one really nice feature here of KeePass is I can just right click on this and perform the auto type and you can see that it automatically fills in um, the top and bottom form. So let's say this was username and this was password. Um, wherever I'm going to try and fill in that information then I can use this to fill in those two pieces of information. And in this case again I have username and password. Um, now these are just standard because usually when you're trying to fill in something in your browser that's what you would be filling in. Um, but likewise, if you wanted to use it for anything else, just as a standard function here, um, let's say instead I wanted to fill in a first name and a last name field. Um, so here I have my first name and I have my middle name here. So if I had my first name in the username field and in the password field, I had the middle initial, for example, I could use the same thing here. You can basically just use this for any consecutive forms in this capacity. Uh, but it only works, of course, for just those two. Now, if you want to create something that's going to fill an entire form, you can do that as well, which is what I wanted to show, and this is something that I haven't seen a lot of demonstrations of, and I just wanted to show how incredibly powerful it is. So all I've done here from a standard entry is I simply go into my standard entry and I go to the auto type field. And the nice thing about this is if I click on edit, I have the ability to completely customize what I'm going to input into here. So there's a couple things that I could do. Um, if I just actually, let me just snap back here to the entry, all of these fields you can leverage. So if you had pieces of information in the username field, the password field, the URL field, notes, etc., that you wanted to fill into a form or into a particular place or location, um, you can do that. Um, but when I scroll back or I pop back over here, um, the other thing that you can do is you can just put in text here as well. And so if I remove what's in here, as standard, if I wanted to, you know, just have it fill in the username and password, again, all I do here is I have username and then tab and password. This means that it's going to fill in the username and the first field that you select, then it's going to uh, trigger the tab key 
which would mean it would go to the next form uh, field here, and then it's going to input whatever I have in the password field. I can also do this again if I wanted to use a different field altogether, if I wanted it to fill in the username, and then the next field was the URL. I can do that as well. So you can do that with any of those different fields that are in the entry that you create. You also have the ability to customize which keys that it actually triggers. So if instead you wanted it to fill in the username and then press enter, uh, I mean, you could use this for so many things. You could use this for creating um, uh, you know, a document. You can use it for filling forms. Um, really anything that you want, you could use it for you know, coding or something if you wanted to. Um, you can customize literally any action in here. And this is a completely free tool um, that you can use at your disposal here. So what I'm going to do just as a demonstration purpose here is I'm going to show you how you could use this for a really complex um, kind of list of forms here. And so here you can see I have a bunch of different fields. Um, so if I just tab through these here, you can see it's going to tab through everything one by one and it's going to actually go to the next location here. So if I wanted to just fill in, let's say the title here, and then I'm going to put in my tab key and we'll use Bob for the first name, tab key again, and we'll tab actually two times. So we'll pass the middle initial, we'll go to the last name, put in Johnson, and let's go ahead and see which fields we want to use here. I'm just going to put in some uh, fake information here for the company. Do company one, position. And then the thing I wanted to show here is how you can, you know, it's going to actually even pop over to this next location here. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. So if I put tab in here 13 times, and this is all editable, so I can actually just put this in here multiple times. And for my user ID, we can do hacks or tech. A couple other things to note, again, you have some key modifiers that you can use here if you want to do that. Um, if you scroll down here, again, all of these keys are completely customizable, so if you wanted to backspace something at some point, you can do that. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can use this for whatever you want and completely customize it. And again, since it's a free text field uh, with those little things that you can use, uh, those little uh, characters that you can use. It really, you don't have to actually select them there. If you just type in in the brackets here, whatever that key function that you want to use is, whether it's tab or F1, um, you can do that too. But just to show you how this functions here, um, again, I've completely bypassed the general auto type function, which is, you know, again, being used for just the username and password. And once you have that all set, if I select my first field in here, all I have to do is just right click and click on perform auto type. Uh, and you can see here that it's going to go ahead and start typing anything um, that I put in there. Now, it I looks like I missed maybe a couple things here to get it over to the username field. Um, but you can see that it's very easy to just create a custom list of commands here. And other than the fact that I missed a few, let me see if I can actually correct that here. So that I can get this to actually do what I wanted to do here. Another thing you can do too, by the way, is you can actually just add into this location as well. So if you wanted to not even edit it, you can just type it in there, modify it, click on OK. I'm going to just refresh this so it's completely starting from scratch here. And I just need to add one more in there. Apparently can't, can't count today, but if I add in one more tab in here, it should go to the next location. So you can see if I wanted to do the entire form that I could, I just have to make sure that I space it out correctly. Um, and you can also, again, you can have this do things like um, when it tabs over, if I just tab over to um, the card expiration, you can also have it um, automatically use your keys. So if you wanted to do the down key, then you can do that to a certain number tab go down or you can have it you know type in something if it's something that you can type into uh, but if it's a drop down list you can have it you know do the uh, the up or down keys as many times as you need it to in order to complete this form 
And so for someone who maybe had like the same form that they need to complete multiple times and multiple documents, uh, it'd be very useful to customize your macro there with KeyPass to be able to do whatever you wanted to do. So this is super, super easy. Uh, again, the application KeyPass is completely free. Um, and that's how you can create uh, custom macros to um, fill forms. Um, just to look at a couple other things that you can do here. Um, so you can overwrite the default sequence or you can use the default here, which I already showed. Um, but there's a couple other things that I wanted to show. Um, you can completely customize um, the field names in here as well. So you can go in here and you can add different string fields. Um, you can attach attachments, by the way, to these different entries as well. Um, but again, for me, it's, it's usually just easiest to go in here and um, you know, manually customize what I want this to do. So if I wanted this to um, trigger the you know, backspace key or something on a web browser or something to go to a different tab uh, or to a different page from what I was previously looking at, if I wanted to you know, have this operate with a specific program in a certain, um, certain manner, then I can do that as well. Again, you just have to select whichever keys and whichever uh, functions that you want it to trigger. So there's really no limit to what you can actually use um, this program for. Uh, when it comes to macros and to uh, to form filling capabilities. So that's really all I wanted to show you. Um, again, um, a lot of different things that you can use this for to play around with. Um, and I may do another video to go over some other functions here. But as far as um, the macro functions, that kind of covers it. Um, so thanks again for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I uh, would appreciate it if you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, it's definitely much appreciated. Uh, the only thing else that I wanted to mention is if you guys would like to support the channel, in the description I will have some ways that you can do that. Um, there's going to be several promotional things that you can do to um, for free support the channel, and it's going to be a way that you can actually make some free money or you can get some kind of um, product for free. Um, the one that I wanted to talk about right now is the Cash App, and I'll just really quickly mention it. Uh, the Cash App is a completely free service. It's by Square, um, a company that offers services to be able to take payments at storefronts and things like that. Um, but what they're offering right now is this Cash App, which is a completely free app that gives you your own debit card. And with that debit card, you can actually um, get as much as 10% off of certain restaurants, uh, certain storefronts and locations. So you get discounts when you use the card at certain places. Um, you can also just use it for the functions of, um, you know, if you get money from a friend or a family member, then you can immediately use that money with the debit card that you're provided. But you can also just use it to transfer money back and forth between friends and family. Um, if you just want it purely as a way to receive money from those people, then you can have a friend send you $10 or $50, and then you can immediately cash that money out to your bank account uh, for free. There's no transaction fees or anything. Um, and you can do that across any banks, any you know different services that you want to transfer the money through. All they have to do is download the Cash App, and uh, they'll be able to send money to you for free. Uh, again, there will be other promotional kind of things in the description. Um, I am not uh, affiliated with any of these particular companies, and they are not sponsors for this video, um, but they do help to support the channel. Um, I do make a commission off those products, but you guys also get... Um, you know, benefit from it as well. So definitely check those out. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you then.